Hey guys, Brian here with another video and today we are going to look at the final results of North 44 versus Quantum's Web inside the Clan Wars arena. Now, they did pull ahead of us at the end. They got a couple three stars that um, pulled them ahead. We There was 20 on 20, everyone got two stars in our clan and we were just not able to get the three stars like them. Um, they got the three star on Grinness and on me, so I was a little bit sad about that. We're gonna talk about that one. But first, I'm gonna show you my attacks. I did get two one stars. My attacks have not been up to par lately, um, and it's just not been going well. So let's go ahead and look where I'm at, and then we I'll show you my attack, and then uh, we'll go ahead and look at some of the three stars that they pulled off this, uh, this war and see what's up. So I opted to attack Albesito, and I didn't do really uh, too well in this attack. I have six golems. Um, I decided to come in from this side, nice easy jumps, knew my stuff would head towards the center. Problem is, there's a whole bunch of builder's huts and a lot of percentages on the other buildings I didn't think about taking down before I went in. So here comes a Lava Hound. At this point I was thinking, okay, this raid's looking great, everything's fine. We're going to hit that Lava Hound here pretty shortly um, with my queen. King's hopped over, Inferno Tower's hitting the giant over there as well as the golem, so... I'm thinking, all right, we're fine, we're fine, everything's good. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and freeze that. I think that freeze spell might have been a little bit too soon. Um, my wizards weren't even near, so I was just kind of wasting that for my golem. Um, I guess it allowed my king to do more damage, but I should have uh, waited a little bit longer. Um, as you can see, the Inferno Tower is just going to hit everything now, and so I think that was a little bit detrimental to my attack, but it's okay. So we keep going in. Queen is over there. My king's still alive, believe it or not. Queen's going to go ahead and start hitting the town hall. Very nice. I was actually surprised the queen didn't pull aggro with that queen over there. Seems pretty close, but she didn't. Popped her ability. We got the uh, town hall down. We're at 40%. She starts hitting a wall. I'm not sure what that was. I think it was because the queen kind of confused her. She was like, do I want to hit this Tesla or do I want to hit the wall? And then we were at 40%. I was like, oh, goodness, what do we do? Um, he did have an air, air bomb trap there, that air bomb trap, uh, air bomb kind of hit us, hit us hard, and, uh, I just wasn't able to pull through. So there's my one star, guys. Yes, I suck. I know it's just been terrible lately for me on attacking, and I'm going to work on it, try some new strategies and see what works best. But anyway, let's look at the three star on, um, Grenas first. Let's see what this guy chose to do. So he's got a pretty typical matchmaking base here. Um, he's going for the Go Lava Loonian. Does he have a golem in his CC as well? Where's he attacking from? The bottom? No, just one golem. Okay. One golem it is. And then some giants. I think the giants are the tank. That's funny. He has a goblin too. Okay. You guys saw it here. 100%. You want 100%? Pull out those goblins, guys. Um, that's how you're going to do it. So, heroes are going in. Here comes a dragon out of the CC. He doesn't have a poison spell. I think he's just reaching for those air defenses, trying to get them. The golem's actually doing a really good job of tanking. Doesn't bring very many minions at all. I think it's the, his big concern is just getting the uh, air defenses and then putting in those balloons to try to pop out the base. So far, the king's doing a good job. Will the queen get the air defense? Perfect filter right there. It's just not very good. The single target Inferno Tower as well. Here he goes. He's going in from the top. He wants to go in on that single target Inferno Tower side. Actually puts down just a couple loons. So that's something I've noticed is he's not spamming out the balloons. He's putting them very precisely. Um, doesn't want them to get wrecked by air bombs, perhaps, maybe. So yeah, his queen is still alive. That is absolutely amazing to me. His queen's just absolutely doing work. Um, queen doesn't have the ability, but to get through that, she's still hitting. That's really, really cool. Um, on the other defense, it is air defense. It is frozen right now. Let's see what happens. We're going to play this one out a little bit faster. And he's just going to take out everything. Wow, still had his queen too. So many balloons, a lava hound. Just a really, really good attack by Kamikaze. Um, so congrats to Kamikaze on that 100%. Good job. Next up, we have me getting three-starred. I know, sad days. I opted for this base right here. Generally, a really strong base. I do have the single target. I think I'm going to opt for uh, anti-three-star bases um, next round. I was kind of going with the ballsy strategy of saying, um, okay, Bring it on, let's go. You can either uh, two-star me or not two-star me. Maybe they'd one-star me, I don't know. Um, so yeah, his heroes are going in. He takes out both air defenses right there. He's going to do the same over here. 
take that one out really easily. Um, that one is on the outside, and same with the other one right there. So he's just going to come in and, and re wreak havoc. His balloons are just going to take out everything. And sad days, we got 100%ed. Heroes are just doing work behind those golems. It's crazy. So go Lava Loonian is the way to go if you guys want a three-star. Really good strategy. And then the next one, which I was absolutely amazed by. I watched this one live. Are you ready for this? You guys ready for this? Yuki going in on Fey. Fey and Njord is really, really high up in uh, trophies. And uh, you can see he's got the single target in front of towers. And it's just, a, it's just a scary base if you look at it. Um, so he's going to put down some wall breakers over there. And he's going to put his king over there. Put down more wall breakers over there as well. He's hoping, to, I guess he's hoping to take out some defenses over here so his stuff doesn't filter. I'm not really sure what the goal of his king being in there was, just to clear out all those buildings maybe. Um, going to take out the archer tower with the queen. Pops her ability like really too soon. I don't know. That was awkward. Um, yeah, really awkward. I don't know why he did that. Still able to pull this off. Yeah, so the queen's just going to go down. Not sure why he did that. Maybe he panicked and thought the Inferno Tower was on it, even though she was way out there, but it's okay. Um, here comes the Lava Hounds. Three Lava Hounds. Very precise with his balloons, as you guys can see. Oh, four Lava Hounds. Wow. He has four Lava Hounds? Is that right? Yeah, I think he does. Okay, four Lava Hounds. Puts down the Haste Spell over there. Very nice Haste Spell. So the Haste Spell is going to speed them up. Doesn't do much after that, though. Um, Lava Hounds are looking good. The balloons are doing work since it's single target. Um, they're just having a good time. All the air defenses are gone except one, and the Lava Hound's going to go over to it and just tank it for days while everything else does work. The Lava Hound in the CC isn't really doing much against it either, so that's not good. Minions are doing work, and he's just going to go ahead and clean up that base. That is amazing that he was able to uh, three-star that base. Yuki, I guess he's just a really good attacker. Who knows? Um... But yeah, he also got 91% on George, which is really, really close, as you guys can see here. I'm going to show you this one as well. So high level attack again by Yuki. This time changing up the strategy, only bringing two Lava Hounds with one in the CC and uh, some Giants to use to tank up for his Queen, I guess. I don't know. Maybe for the Wall Breakers, he's going to pop down here in a second. Where are they? Pop down the Wall Breakers. Come on, you know you want to. There they are. There's the wall breakers. So yeah, he just knew the queen was going to funnel back in towards that air defense. Nice. He got that air defense over there with his uh, king. So yeah, he's got the whole bottom half cleared. And then he's going to go ahead and pop his queen's ability. Keep her as healthy as possible. Keep her hidden away and clear out as many defenses he can. Then he's going to come in on this side with the air defense. The single side with the air defense. And which I thought was odd. Okay, yeah, there we go. He's going in from the top as, as well. So nice balloon spread out by him. He doesn't want them getting picked off by any air bombs. Um, as you can see, those ones are getting wrecked. There's the air traps, the seeking air mines doing work. Balloons are still going in. Just perfect free spells. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And 74%, 79%, 84%. And the CC is going to help him out a little bit. 91%. So the expo was the only reason he wasn't able to three-star him there. Really amazing. I don't know if that Yuki guy is really good at attacking or if he's doing something, but uh, that's that's crazy. So good war, Quantum's Web. Uh, you guys won it. Good job. We lost it. I need to work on my war attacks. I'm going to need to work on my attacks, and then we will continue our push up to Champions League. Um, but anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. Some high-level attacks there. Let me know what you thought about it. Let's see if we can hit 500 likes. You guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.